Ooh, it's kind of hot in here. Uh, I'm just going to put the windows down for right now so I can record this video and not hear a loud car in the background. Because this car is really freaking loud compared to the Camaro. But what is going on, guys? Back with another video. I was editing this video and I realized that I didn't record an intro at all. It just showed me at the shop explaining what I was doing to the car. And then it showed me picking up the damn car. So this is the intro to the video. Um, so in the last video, we decided to drop my car off at the shop because... We found out that the issue was the negative terminal on the car. That was the only issue for this car the entire time of why this car was not starting. Which is kind of weird because I did so many different things to get this car started. Even put jumper, ca jumper cables on it from another car thinking like if you put jumper cables on it and the, and the negative post is bad and getting that extra power from another car, it should start up. Nope, it didn't work like that. So, uh, yeah, we brought it to a mechanic and he changed that. Car works perfectly fine now. No issues. It runs better than it used to. Um, while while it was there, we replaced the control arms, tie rods. So now the car is working, running phenomenal. Feels brand new. It still has a few few more things to do. And we also changed the uh, tires on it as well. So now the car is just running perfectly fine. Okay, it's getting really hot. Okay, let's just... Let me just let it cool down here for a second. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but yeah, it was really hot for a second, so I had to turn on the AC. So, um, we replaced all that. The car is working phenomenal. Uh, we do have a check engine light back on again. I'm not sure what that's for. The mechanic cleared the code so it can re like so it can uh pop up again so we can see exactly what's wrong. So it's gonna I'm pretty sure it's gonna go back to the shop for that. Um it an uh, engine swap is in the works, hopefully. I can get that done. I just gotta wait for all this corona stuff to go away. So yeah. Oh my god, it got hot back fast. Texas suck. Texas really freaking sucks. I mean I've been driving the Mustang a lot more than Camaro lately. I don't know why. Just cleaned it up. It looks beautiful again looks brand new got the dents that i want to get taken out of it oh yeah and another thing that i did to it i put the logo on it just like i did the camaro and this one it came out a lot better than the camaro did i don't know why i changed the font up so i'm pretty sure they made it easier for the cutting tool to cut it out but it looks way better than the must or the camaro sorry that the car is dirty i literally washed it tuesday it rained that night, washed the entire wax job away that I did, and now the car is just filthy again. I mean, only the top of the car is filthy, like the hood, the roof, and then the um, trunk lid. That All that's just dirty again, but everything else is still shining. The wheels are shining. Um, but everything else is perfectly fine. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. Kind of parked it under the tree. I got to clean the Camaro next, so I'm going to make a video. Ooh, I spit everywhere. I gotta clean the Camaro next. I'm gonna make a video on how I clean my cars, how I detail them, and everything like that. I may even throw the motorcycle video or motorcycle in there with it because I need to clean the motorcycle before I sell it. Uh, still waiting on a buyer for that one, but still have to have it clean in the meantime, just in case somebody hits me up out of the blue, like, "Hey, I want to buy." It. I mean, I have somebody coming look at it next week who's potentially going to buy it, most likely going to buy it. So we may have uh, the the uh, R6 out of here, sat or have it sadly out of here. Uh, in like the next few weeks, so we're gonna. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on that. I know this is not my motorcycle channel, but I know I had some people come over from my motorcycle channel to this channel, um, just because they support me, you know, because I'm, I'm amazing, I'm sexy. I'm... I think I'm gonna cut this intro right here. This is like an intro slash outro, it was kind of weird because I totally forgot to record this beforehand. So, I'm we're gonna go get into the footage that I recorded that day. Peace out. All right, what is going on, guys? We're back with another video. We're visiting the Mustang at the shop. We had to drop off some parts parts that they needed. They needed the uh, connecting rod or con control arms, tie rods, and that type of stuff. So we had to drop it off. Jeez. But we had to just drop off some parts so they can get the car fixed. It should be done maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, so hopefully that'll get done. We can start making content on this car. It's looking real good right now, and it started up perfectly fine. So the battery terminal was the issue. Let me pick this video back up when we pick the car up. Need some, need some loving on the outside. <laughs> And we're also getting new uh, tires for it as well. Ooh. All right, what is going on, guys? We're back, picking up the Mustang. Uh, we 
we came to pick it up and guess what engine lights on I got the engine lights on so we're checking our code to see what code is giving right now because we're not sure what it is when we brought it here it didn't have a engine or check engine light on so we're about to see what it is while it's still here maybe just in case we have to leave it again so yeah well, I'll keep you guys updated on that all right so we're back in the Mustang found out that the codes were just false codes that we got so baby is roaring the life she sounds good. I just realized how dark my camera was, so hopefully it's picking up on my face. I remember I used it for another video. 